So this is Uber, a chauffeur service started in San Francisco in the United States. Now Uber is gaining more and more popularity and is spreading to other countries. Now Uber currently operates in the state that I'm living in. Now Uber is currently operating in South Australia in Adelaide where I currently live. So I'm hearing a lot of hype about Uber around the world in the media and through friends. So I wanted to test it out, get and get some point of views from taxi drivers, from customers, potential customers, and also find out what it's like to be an Uber driver. So let's walk through the starting system. You download the Uber application to your phone. Once you fire up the Uber application, this little red pin represents your current location, and these little cars represents cars, uh, and these little cars represent a driver that is near you. So you tap set pickup location, and then you tap request. Then you and that is pretty much all it is to it. This is where it gets unique. You can call the driver directly and they can also call you. And a profile of the driver shows up with his license plate number. This is this has been described as making people feel a lot more safer knowing who their driver will be. And that is pretty much it. After that, you can, and the other unique things about Uber is you pay for the service on your phone. You also can rate your driving, ex your experience with the driver, and they can also rate their experience with you as a customer. But, but what does this mean? What does this mean for taxis? To get the point of view of the taxi, so to get the point of view of the taxi industry, we sat down to interview a taxi driver that operates in Adelaide and to see what he thinks of Uber and his experience of being a taxi driver. Please enjoy. Independent, Suburban, Yellow. information section 以前听说反正只有这种普通的小车然后这种残疾人出租车可能不超过二十辆现在已经发展到大约有九十辆不好的经验然后他们说是要下车上厕所然后全都跑了还有的就是拉到一个客人等虽然不是太远反正两三公里的路吧到了以后他告诉你我没有钱我只有这一把钥匙你要我就给你然后
一个女生，我又不能把她怎样，然后也也很壮可能。最坏的一次就是上上个月吧，呃，被我被五个小孩抢劫，然后我的手机被他们抢走，后来反正被警察给追回来了。这种事情是经常发生的。是本地人吗？是本地人。然后你知道有吧？呃，听说过这个软件，但是我从来没有用过。对，那你觉得，觉得 Uber 现在在，就是以后在未来啊，会不会取代就是 other taxi？ 我听很多乘客说过，这个 Uber 软件特别方便，而且也特别好。它可以通过手机定位功能，呃，知道，嗯，就是来来接你的出租车，它。走到哪里了？然后多长时间过来？你还可以跟司机直接联系，这是一个很方便的软件。但是现在在南澳来说，这些手机软件是 illegal 的，不合法，不可以用的。你觉得这个 Uber 就是比较安全吗？就值得，就是大家信赖，还是相信它？嗯，安全方面。因为他可能需要绑定你的那个银行账户信息，我不太确定。如果说就是有没有说第三方软件会那种介入，或者病毒什么东西会，因为我们不是做软件的，安全性我们也很难说。反正只能把它往好处去想吧。它反正肯定也会随着更多问题出现，然后。接到一个活。So let's take a look at this idea that Uber is operating illegally in South Australia. Our former transport minister of Adelaide stated that it is in fact operating illegally. Now. Now, because this seems to be the case, Uber has been gaining more and more negative publicity. But it is still an extremely popular service that people are still choosing to use. Maybe one of the reasons is because you don't really have to reach that far to find a negative story that a customer has had with a taxi driver. Almost. Everyone I know has had a bad experience with a taxi driver, but people still. But I want to see if people still use taxi drivers and what they think of it. So、what、I wanted you, to ask the、um, public. Of taxis?、Uh, what do you、um, think of taxis? Uh, very good service. Okay.、Um, yeah. Occasionally I use, use them. Not okay. Yeah. Not as much as I used to when I was younger, but、um, yeah. yeah, you still take taxis to and from the airport and stuff, I guess, for work and、right. stuff like that. So yeah. What do you think? They're affordable. <sighs> It depends how far you go. And、uh, usually I'm driving across town, or you know, so it's usually sixty, seventy bucks. So okay. Yeah. It's a lot of money. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah. Well, not aware of any other choices at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so on a scale one to ten,、um, how would you rate taxi services in LA? Uh, probably about seven. Seven. Okay. Why this rating?、Um, uh, some services are better quality and better yeah, that's true. conditions inside the taxis,、yeah. and the drivers are、um, friendly and they know they know the routes of travel. Okay. Some don't. Yeah.、Um, well, do you think、um, LA taxi services are safe?、Uh, for myself, yes.、Um, okay. I, I've heard from some females that then. Not comfortable. Okay.、Um, do you think they're affordable? Uh, yes. Could be. Could be better. So, but if if it was a a cheaper service,、uh, more people would use them. I'm sure. Well,、um, have you heard of Uber? No, I haven't been.、No. Okay. Well, Uber is like a taxi service, and it's done electronically. So you pay the company, you don't pay the driver. Yep.、Yeah. And um, you um, so you book them all on the app. There's a GPS where you can see、um, when they're coming to you, so it gives you times. And、um, you can call them or text them to let them know, if, like if you want to cancel the service or、um, if you need additional stops. And it's only twenty dollars across, um, like Adelaide. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. So um, since you heard of Uber, 
like would, would you prefer Uber or taxi services now? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'd definitely, I'd definitely give it a go. I mean, uh, 20 bucks across town is a lot better than 60, 70 bucks or if you're coming home from town or whatever if you've had a night out. So yeah, but that definitely sounds good, man, yeah. for sure. And, um, do you think that one day Uber will take over taxi services like how in, in New York City and San Francisco? I mean, if it's, it sounds like a good idea and if it works, I mean, you know, it's obviously, you know, you got to start somewhere and who yeah. knows, man. If it takes off and people catch on, I mean, cabs are being used every single day. So, yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, 20 bucks is a lot less than, you know, like I said, most people don't take a cab for a short trip. It's usually a decent length. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, cool. Cool. Thank you. No worries, mate. Cheers, man. So there is lots of... So people's... So, so customers' experience with taxi drivers, so customers' experiences with taxis and their affordability does vary. But I wanted to switch gears and get the view of, and I wanted to switch the gears and get the point of view from an Uber driver. So please enjoy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm a professional chauffeur. Uh, I've been in the industry for about eight years. I'm a Kung Fu instructor. I'm a husband and a dad to two children. I was informed Uber was coming to South Australia by another driver. Uh, operators are currently accepting bookings via mobile phones, uh, emails, uh, a contact us page, they're all oper operating illegally uh, according to the, uh, the current wording. Things need to be changed, uh, move forward to move with technology in, in our modern society.